Hi, it's Sunny. So for those of you who do not know me, um, I am a professional ballroom dancer and I regularly share little videos on YouTube sharing what goes on in the real ballroom dance industry from a long time industry insider. Um, so last week I shared um, a couple of videos um, on the top 10 secrets um, of professional dancers and I'll post a link below if you would like to see those. Anyway, one of the things I mentioned in there is that I really appreciate if students are punctual, um, if they don't keep me after my scheduled lesson time, if they don't expect me to give them a discount for their shortened lesson, etc. So anyway, I had about eight students show up this week, completely freaked out. They showed up about half an hour early thinking I was talking about them. So to be clear, I was not talking about an individual at all. Um, and honestly, I don't know any professional, including me, who really cares if you're late. I mean, that that is your loss. Um, so we totally, we are human beings too. We understand that especially emergencies happen, you know, to all of us. Um, unless you're a professional dancer, you're not booking your entire day with just lessons. You know, you might have kids to pick up from school, work emergency. Sometimes there's a traffic fiasco. These, these things do happen. Okay. Um, I do know that all teachers are coming from this perspective. So I'll share you a little more detail today, like what to do if you're late, how to best handle that. Um, and it is possible I'm slightly more sensitive than other pros on this. And I can only tell you from my personal experience, um, I've left two dentists office so far, um, because of how late they are. And in both cases, I understood in the middle of the day, they're running behind. Someone has an emergency. we got to do a crown, but, um, in both cases, a couple times I deliberately scheduled that very first lesson in the morning or excuse me, first dentist appointment in the morning so that I would be on time to work. And I'll be a horse's patootie. If they didn't start a half an hour late, I even saw one of them stroll in the door like, okay, I've booked a time. I'm a busy person. So um, when someone uh, either no-shows me or shows up late, I do not feel valued as a client, um, as a dance teacher or in other businesses, okay? Um, so if you are late, do your probe, a schedule, shoot them a text, just let you know, Hey, we're running behind. Sorry about that. Um, we do appreciate every one of our students. Each one of you do bring something to the table. Otherwise we wouldn't be booking you. Um, and many of us are, have as many lessons as we want. So we are even cherry picking you and you're our favorites. Okay. Um, Obviously, I'm not talking about like a minute off, you know, at that point, just forget that one minute and roll with it. Um, I personally like to arrive 15 minutes before my lessons start, both as a professional. Honestly, I did it um, as a student amateur as well. Certainly don't expect that of everyone. I actually don't think I have a single student who does that. I'm fine with that, but I want to be professional and show up. 15 minutes early. And honestly, if your pro is being late, I would suggest, first of all, telling them, obviously, again, not talking about a one-off emergency, but if they're reliably walking into the studio 10 minutes late for your lesson, you know, your time is valuable, but they might not be aware of that. There are some people that are just on their own time and they don't realize that it negatively impacts you. So definitely in a nice way, say, hey, um, if you really, I notice we're running behind a lot. If you'd really like me to start at 9.15, can we just book that time? Because I'm trying to fit in a ton every day, you know, with other stuff going on. They will understand. Um, at that point, they can either book you later because that's when they want to sleep in till. Um, or you can switch to another teacher if you're not seeing, you know, them. They're either blowing you off or showing up late reliably, okay? Um so I do appreciate when students handle this respectfully when they are late because everyone's late sometimes, okay? Um, so how do you do that? Well, number one, you don't expect your pro or even push them to teach beyond your scheduled time. So if you show up half an hour late, 
I still need to end your lesson on time. Even if I'm not booked immediately afterwards, chances are I'm busy. Any pro is. We're not just teaching during the day. Certainly, I'm a working parent. I have a very um, old school husband who expects me to do, you know, I'm doing all the cooking, all the cleaning. He wants dinner on the table at five. I'm doing all the shopping, scheduling all the doctor's appointments, getting my kid to the volleyball lesson, the private trombone lesson, yada, yada. So, um, I'm busy. So, and, and as, as is any other pro I know, it's very rare they're just sitting around twiddling their thumbs between lessons, unless someone knows shows them. Um, also, just to be clear, I don't take offense if you're chronically late. I, I get it. Just follow up accordingly in a way that shows that you're still really appreciative and you think my time is valued at what I'm charging, okay? Um, also, I mentioned this in that one video, do not request a discount for your shortened lesson if I stop you at the appropriate time. Or likewise, oh, you can make it up next time. No, <laughs> I'm busy, I'm booked. You had this appointment time, stick with your appointment time. Um, if you are late, and again, it does happen, um, I would suggest offering them a tip or just hand them a tip or even if you just offer that's fine um, if they do end up teaching you over you know usually your pro is going to say look, no unless it's a reliable issue um, or you're putting some sort of negative impact on another aspect of their life maybe I have to pay longer for the babysitter whatever um, in some cases pay more for the floor fee um, there's a studio I teach at that I have to chart I have to pay them for the floor fee that I book but also if I teach 15 minutes late or don't even start on time I still have to pay that extra floor fee um as I shared in that one video you might not be aware as a student that I am paying for every minute that I'm there and the vast majority of studios do have cameras okay so it's not something I can lie about so if if you stay after the lesson and say want to extend your lesson time by keeping on asking questions, hey, one more thing, show me this, talk to me about this, um, I have to pay higher floor fees for that same lesson that I'm not getting extra money for. So I don't want to spend money out of my pocket that I don't need to, to um, give someone more. It's not just giving my time. I have to pay more as well. It's not just my time actually to pay more money. So you might not be aware of that, okay? Um, also, if I have another student, um, you know, that walks in, don't even say anything. Just, oh, so, shoot, our lesson time's up. Walk quietly off the floor. It's totally okay. So I can start that other person on time. I don't want to have to apologize to them. I don't want to say, hey, can you push your lesson back? They usually have a job and a personal life as well. So kindly say, oh, shoot, we're out of time. Um, leave the money for your pro by the door. Ask them if they can stay in practice. Most studios do make you stay and pay a floor fee, either as an individual or as a couple to practice. But I do teach in one place that as long as I'm teaching there, I can have people practice and I don't have to pay extra for them to do that. So definitely feel free to ask, especially if you don't know that studio's policy. Um, most pros are, are totally fine with that as long as the studio is fine with it, okay? Um, also, pay attention to the time. So I am fully intellectually and emotionally invested in my students when I'm teaching. Honestly, I don't look at the clock. And if I keep on looking at the clock, um, you know, I'm not paying attention to you. So I often teach over accidentally. But I do appreciate when my students like, hey, do you know our time's up? And at that point, it gives me the option of, yeah, I can do five more minutes or, oh gosh, thank you. And I can, um, I do teach at more than one place. I can hop on the car, drive to my next place or run to my kid's school because I am a room mom. So I'm there all the time helping do stuff. So I absolutely appreciate that. Okay. So when your lesson time's up, just mention something nicely. They might, they probably won't ask you to stop if they if they if they can. But often we've got other stuff that we're doing too, okay? Um also, if you arrive late, you know, instead of not mentioning it either in a text on the way in or if you can't text and drive, hey, I get it. Illegal. When you walk in say, "Hey, sorry, I'm late." Um and then instead of strolling in and checking your makeup, 
take it, having a chit chat. For Pete's sake, hustle in, get your shoes on, and let's get started. And I'm not being a jerk. I want to give you your maximum value for your dollar. I want to teach you as much as I can, okay? So just hustle to your seat, get your shoes on, and we'll um, hit the boards hard, okay? Um, so in closing, if your pro is late, they should financially compensate you appropriately as well. If I am late or I start you late and I finish your lesson on time, I will discount that student. And in my opinion, everyone should. And if they don't, that's very disrespectful. Find another teacher. Likewise, if I no show a student or I double book a student, this does rarely happen, but uh, once every few years, I my policy is to give that student their next lesson for free. Now, I certainly don't, wouldn't expect that from other pros, but in my opinion, that is the respectful way to handle that because your time is valuable too. So um, I hope that helps give some clarification because there were definitely, I received a number of questions about that from students this week. So thanks so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. If you liked, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, or let me know how you've handled if say a pro is no showing you or blowing you off. I'm, I'm quite curious how they handled that. So anyway, see you soon. Bye guys.